Hi, welcome to KOA CCTV. I'm going to show you how to set up line crossing. So first of all, you can just click anywhere on the screen there and just right click. And then we're going to click menu um, and then click on camera. Great. Now go down to VCA, which is on the left hand side, click on it. Uh, and then select the camera that you want to use. Okay, great. Um, and then you're going to select line crossing, which is just above. Um, and then make sure that you check enable, like so. And then you're going to go to rule settings on the far right here, click on it. And then you can choose the direction that you want to use. Now you can do by direction, A to B, or B to A. For the purposes of this, we're going to choose by direction. Great. And then you can also adjust the sensitivity right here. So you can increase it or decrease it. But for our purposes, we're just going to go with 50. that's pretty much a safe range but obviously you can adjust however you like for your requirements. Um, after that we're going to click OK and then um, you're going to click on draw line right here and then you're going to choose two points to draw the line so we just click there then we're going to click on the bottom and there you go you've drawn the line and then press apply and you're all set. So once you set up line crossing detection, this will tell you when someone crosses the line. And you can actually set it up so you can receive a notification anytime someone set or crosses the line. So the way you do that is by going to settings right here, click on that, and then go to arming schedule, which is the second one, click on it, and then you can actually set which day or time you want to be notified about this. So we're just going to click Monday, seems like a good day. Um, and then we're just going to click the first one there, just set the time. Looks good, okay. And then you can also go to linkage action, click on that, and then you can choose how you want to be notified. So you could get full screen monitoring, audible warning, uh, you can be notified by the surveillance center, you can have an email sent, or trigger the alarm output. Now once you have decided what you want to do, you can click apply, and then OK. And you're done. If you'd like more information, you can find out more on the website, koacctv.com, and please do follow us and subscribe on YouTube and you can find more videos and tips right here.